In this video, we're going to see a primary alcohol undergo a reaction with HBr. And it could be HBr or HCl or um, HI or any other halogen as well. So the very first thing that's going to happen in this type of reaction is you're going to protonate the alcohol to form water. Alcohol is a lousy leaving group. So in order to make it a good leaving group, you protonate it. So one of these pair of electrons is going to reach out and grab this hydrogen and the pair of electrons that's between hydrogen and, and um, bromide is going to go over to the, to the bromine. So from there, you will have water. Now water is a good leaving group and it is susceptible to an attack. And in this particular reaction, we're going to do what you call an SN2 mechanism. SN2 mechanism. So how that works is once this bromine breaks off, it is now floating around in the solution and is negatively charged. Once the alcohol was protonated, it become positively charged. And if it's positively charged, it is a better leaving group. So this bromine can come in here and attack this carbon. And when it attacks this carbon, this bond that's holding the water is broken off onto the um, water molecule. So you'll have this. It's something that you can remem um, remember. If you see a primary alcohol the alcohol is going to be replaced with the bromine but if you have to show the mechanism on the test um, this is it the s and sn2 stands for substitution so you're substituting this oh with this bromide the n stands for nucleophilic attack so this has a positive character but this um carbon here also has a positive character so it's attracting this um, pair of electrons here. And two means that it's two different molecules responsible for the reaction. So this will be your first molecule. And of, of course, this is your second molecule. And Pretty just so that we're clear, we do have this water molecule that was formed as well. And this would be the pair of electrons that broke off up here onto that.